Have you ever been told that if there's an erection that it's your job to finish it off? Because this video is definitely for ladies or people who have been with penis owners um, and have felt the pressure that when there's an erection in the room, it's your job to do something about it. Um, actually, I was watching this comedian recently, uh, we can quote her, Nikki Glaser, and she was talking about this, this idea that like, essentially, you know, once that uh, she, she has this fear that when she is in that situation, she can never acknowledge the dick because as soon as she acknowledges that it's there, it's, she has to do something. She has to give it a hand job. She has to get a blow job. She has to have sex with it. But if there is an erection and she acknowledges it in the room, she has to do something. And so her whole special is all about don't don't go don't, don't even notice it keep your hands to yourself you know just avoid the fact that that dick's there but you know what what she's talking about is something that women are actually experiencing in this world you as a person have probably been in a situation where your partner's got an erection and you're like oh sh oh shit there's an erection i don't want to deal with that it's there just pretend like it's not i just no i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> and that's that's kind of what's going on um so one this is a myth just because there's an erection in the room doesn't mean you have to do something about it. Um, doesn't mean you have to touch it. Doesn't mean you have to suck it. Doesn't mean you have to fuck it. <laughs> I should suck it, fuck it. I love that. That's so fun. <laughs> now, how? What? What can you do with an erection when it's in the room? You can't acknowledge it without touching and just be like, "Yeah, I noticed you're erect." You guys can have a casual conversation about it. Where if you have a really cool partner, you might say, "Yeah, sometimes I get erections, sometimes I don't, and sometimes I'm interested, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes it's just there." So it can be a conversation. You can have a conversation with your partner outside of the erection zone where you say, hey, you know, sometimes you have an erection and I'm just not there, but I feel very awkward and I don't know what to do. So what, how do you want us to handle that conversation? Um, a lot of times what you do need to hear from your penis owning partner is that it's okay for them to have an erection and that like if something happens, cool, but if something doesn't happen, they're going to be okay. Is where this comes from is the blue ball myth actually is that idea that if you don't get that erection off then you're doing this horrible thing like giving them blue balls the reality is actually vulva owners and penis owners have types of erections all the time that don't always get taken care of like an erection comes and goes throughout the day and throughout the evening and like they sleep through it and they're fine and actually, females and vulva owners have a similar thing where sometimes you'll feel a little excitement. And you're like, oh, I'm kind of a little horny or a little roused. But it just comes and goes and you're fine. You don't feel like, I don't know what it would be called, blue ovaries. <laughs> you don't feel blue ovaries. You just, you just, it comes and goes and you go on with your day. And like when they are at work and their erection comes and goes again, they still just go on with their day. They're not like, oh, I can't work right now. I have the worst experience. No, they just, we just move on with our days. So really what you need to do is have a conversation with your partner about, hey, when this happens, is there a way we can just kind of talk through it and just move on casually as opposed to feeling like there's this pressure that, oh, there's a dick in the room. There's a dick in the room. Uh you don't have to touch it, suck it, or fuck it. You can if you want, but it's your choice. So if you'd like to speak with me and work with me as a therapist, please submit a contact form at therapistinstlouis.com. Also, please like and subscribe.